Good afternoon. All right, we're going to have to be louder than that. I got a lot of energy today. Good afternoon, everybody. All right. I just want to say thank you for coming out and allowing me to be a part of the inaugural Collab Summit. I really couldn't be more excited. It's a great privilege to be among leaders, educators, and community-minded individuals as we work together to develop strategies and solutions that really do move our cities forward. Before I continue, I want to pause for a moment to thank Pat Upshaw Matia for inviting me to be here with all of you today. Whenever Pat invites me to join a Leadership Atlanta event, it is always an enthusiastic yes, because I know what this group meant to me, what it means for you, and what it means for the city of Atlanta, our region, and indeed our state. Pat's on the side here, so y'all give it up for her. Pat, thank you for your hard work. I've been looking forward to today's opening session on collaborative leadership for weeks. On Friday, I had the pleasure of being in New York and delivering my first TED Talk on the future of cities. And I have to tell you, and I have to tell you, hearing stories from people who are just as passionate as I am about improving their cities was inspiring, and it made today even more exciting. Serving of, as the mayor of the city that I love has been the greatest privilege of my career. And my experiences in Atlanta have been clear. They're actually very simple. When we choose cooperation over conflict, there is nothing that we can't accomplish. As you know, we live in a nation and a world in which the challenges we face require connecting, communicating, and collaborating across boundaries, disciplines, and generations coming out of all of our silos. Our future as individuals and as a country requires us to think on a global scale. I happen to believe that cities are ascendant. Today, for the first time in recorded history, we have 50% of people in the world living in cities. Over the next 20 years, that number will increase to 60%. And over the next other 20, it'll increase to 70%. In the United States of America, that story is actually over. 80% of the people in our country live in our largest metros. 80% of the GDP in the United States is generated in our largest metros. But great cities can't plan for just five or 10 years down the road and expect to be cities of excellence. We have to move right here and right now. And that's what Colab is all about. Here in Atlanta, with the help of our local, state, and federal partners, we have been able to achieve a lot, of, a lot of in the last four years, many things that few would have thought possible. We have restored our city to fiscal health. Over the past four years, we successfully addressed a $1.5 billion underfunded pension liability. But we did it collaboratively, with the support of every single member of city council and every single labor union in the city of Atlanta. We've grown our city's cash reserves from 7.6 million on the day that I walked in the door to more than $126 million, a growth in cash of 17 times. We're also creating jobs and restoring the economic vitality of our city. In June, Athena Health, a health IT firm that offers cloud-based services for physician practice management and electronic medical records, announced that they were relocating from Alpharetta to Pont City Market. It's 500 new jobs in the heart of the city of Atlanta. Recently, Governor Deal and I welcomed home builder Pulte Group to their new corporate headquarters in Buckhead, in the capital city plaza. Their CEO, Richard Dugas, made the choice to relocate the company from Michigan to Atlanta because we have the right mix of talent, vibrant neighborhoods, and a business-friendly environment. Pulte Group will bring 300 employees in their Buckhead office into the city of Atlanta. With a number of development projects slated to be completed within the next several years, the construction crane, the official bird of the city of Atlanta, is now flying again. <laughs> and I can't tell you how happy I am about that. We're making unprecedented investments in public safety. While cities across the country were faced with tough budgets, that forced them to lay off police officers and firefighters, 
Our fire department is actually fully staffed for the first time in 10 years, and we've hired over 800 police officers, building the largest police force in the history of the city of Atlanta. And we're improving services for children and families across our city. We've reopened every single recreation in the city, and we're transforming them into centers of hope, havens of self-esteem for our young people, places where they can go and have access to technology, a robust physical fitness regimen, and tutorial services. With the support of federal grants, we're on our way to completing the Atlanta Streetcar Project and the Atlanta Beltline, which just won one of the three largest Tiger V grants in the United States of America. We're going to build the Atlanta Beltline faster. But what I want you to know is that we still need your help. I believe that residents demand excellence. They want bipartisanship. They want pragmatic politics and solutions. They want cooperation over conflict. Collaborative leadership is what enables us to move forward with ideas and initiatives that really do embrace the best of us. We don't care where the idea comes from. We just want it to be the best idea. And that is what should carry the day. Atlanta has long been a city that welcomes and nurtures talent, entrepreneurship, and innovation. Just this week, the city of Atlanta was recognized for the best step to becoming a smarter city in creative loafing because of our efforts to partner with the tech community on developing alternative, cost-efficient government solutions. We need to do more. In Midtown, just a few blocks away from where we are, AT&T opened their Atlanta Foundry, a new innovation center that will speed up the company's development of the latest technologies, applications, and platforms. An amazing partnership between AT&T and Georgia Tech, bringing 400 more individuals into our city. And just a few weeks ago, Google named Atlanta as one of its 2013 E-Cities, an award that recognizes America's digital capitals. Atlanta was named an E-City because of our connectivity and the online strength of our local small business and our potential for growth within the digital economy. Now more than ever, our city government has the potential to foster greater civic engagement and collaborations. Here in Atlanta, we recognize that in order to be a government that truly serves all of the people, we need to listen to the voices of those who call our city home, who care about this city, and who care about the region. And what we're going to do today and over the next few days really is to expedite excellence by listening to one another, by sharing best practices, and by having a common goal of excellence and a high quality of life in the city of Atlanta, in cities across the region, and in cities across the state. And for that, I am so grateful to all of you for participating, and I'm ready to get started. Let's go, CoLab. Thank you.